There's another nice whiting. Number three. So with these whiting, when you're targeting them, it's all about placement. I'm not throwing them out far at all. I'm not even using any real bait. I'm just using artificial bait. I got a piece on already. I'm gonna push it back down onto the hook there. And then I'm gonna add another piece. This is a little six hook, very tiny. I like putting two small floats above it. So it makes this weight float straight up when it's in the water which gets it above that real, because I'm throwing it in real shallow water. So you really want that uh, bait to float up off the bottom like so when it's in the water. And then those little whiting just feed away until one gets on. All right, so take note here as I throw this one back out, you'll see um, how close in it goes. Really straight back, and straight down. See, just right there. In that nice hole there. See, I'm already getting hit. And he's already action. A lot of these whiting are really little, so you don't want to reel it in too soon because they're going to get a lot of hits where they're not going to get the hook. I must wait for the line to go slack because then you know he's on because he starts swimming around a little bit in circles. See, there it is, that slack line. That suggests he's probably on now. There he is. See, I caught that one. I still got my other one right here on the ground. So you find that hole there, man, you catch him really quick. I still got my bait on. I'm just gonna toss this one right back out. Right there, in real close. What we got in here so far? We got a nice ladyfish, two whiting. Gotta add two more to with a bunch. How about that? Flounder. Flounder. Little flounder. Caught him on my little custom rig I make. The two double medium floats. So I just got a beautiful flounder. He's a little small. He's about 13 in total length. So we're gonna release him. But I wanted to get some good footage here of his size. I literally was throwing right here, targeting the whiting. And he was just sitting right in that hole down in there. I'm gonna send him back out. There he goes. Another whiting. Getting these whiting, we're building them up. Whiting. This rig I made is really working for these whiting. It's like a bubble bead almost. Like it's got two little small beads, but they're floats. They look like giant beads, but they're actually little floats. See, I got a football shape and then a beaded shape one. They're really little. They probably look bigger on the camera than they are, but they're tiny. big on finally. I'm gonna decide how to go past this line here. Get past this guy then I'll fight him. 
I haven't seen any stingrays, so I'm hoping it's not a stingray. It'd be great if it's a nice big drum. Big, whatever it is, I'm gonna let him wear himself out here for a little bit. Ah, he just got off. Whatever that big thing was, it got off. It, um, I really think it was a manta ray because the way he was fanning so far east so fast, it's like I had him had his wing. You know, those drum normally shoot straight out. They don't normally shoot that way like that. I was hoping it was a drum, but it is nice um, seeing your gear pull drag like that. My rig wasn't affected by it at all, which is also why I think it was a stingray. A lot of times if you lose your drum, it's because that hook got straightened out or your rig broke. And none of that happened with me. So I do think it was a manta ray, but either way, it was fun watching that um, gear really get tested. The one on, he's running a little bit in the hole here. Nice little whiting again, probably. There he comes. These are perfect size eaters. They're about, you know, six to eight inches. You'll probably get about four to five ounces of meat off of each one. So once you catch, you know, a couple dozen of them, man, you got more than enough. Now I probably got enough bait on here already, but I'm gonna put another piece on because I really would like to get some of these bigger whiting. I got a feeling a bigger piece will entice them a little better. And I'm just going to keep throwing right in front of that little break right there. Right where that break line is, I'm throwing right here inside that hole. Again, man. This rig I made is working. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've been thinking about what to name this rig. I've never really seen anyone make one like this. So I feel like I could kind of take credit for this one if I wanted. I'm leaning towards, I don't know, it seems like almost something you'd see in Flintstones. So I'm almost thinking about naming it the Bedrock Rig. If you got an idea on a good name for it, you tell me what y'all think. It's literally just two small floats, white and orange, pressed together. I do put a toothpick behind them so that they don't move on the line because I like it all compressed tight. And then a number six hook down on the bottom, an owner hook. Surfing them in. Yeah, today has been a good tutorial for catching whiting. I'm actually getting good practice in it. There's a, little, a lot of skill behind it because they're finicky. You know, getting them on the hooks and really not too hard, but keeping them on the hooks tricky. One thing I tend to do is I steady reel when I have a whiting on. I don't reel fast. I just do a simple steady reel, you know, steady, you know, not too fast. You don't want to drag them in. And I don't do a too tight of a drag either. Yeah, that's a big mullet, I think. Maybe a ladyfish. I think it's a big mullet though. Look at that tank mullet. Man, that's a tank mullet. So this is really weird. We have this phenomenon going on right now where these mullet are hitting on our rigs all of a sudden. Like, look at this. This mullet hit my rig. Like I didn't snag him. Look at this big guy. It's a big mullet. He actually hit on one of my rigs. This big old guy, huge mullet. We're gonna save him for shark bait later. But yeah, this guy hit on a pompano rig. Can you believe that? Look how big they are. These things are huge, man. They're huge mullet. These things are awesome. Look at that thing, man. He is awesome. That's gonna be great bait. Tanker, man. He really hit on the rig again. 
I don't understand it. They really like that OP bait soaking fish gum. Mullet. I love it. He's gonna be great shark bait. All right, guys, it's been a fun morning. I got out here a little late. It was about 8 a.m. when I got started fishing. It's now 10:15, and I'm gonna call it a day. Um, I want to get home and watch a little bit of football today. Um, I will say it was fun though. The surf's really calm, as you can see out here on the camera. It uh, does make for a little bit slower of a bite. You see, I'm actually getting hit again over here on this other rod. I'll check it here in a sec. But what I decided to do is I changed up my approach. Uh, since I decided, you know, I'm probably not going to catch Pompano today. They seem like they're pushed out really far and I just can't get to them. So I decided to target the whiting. As you saw in the video, um, I caught about a dozen or so. Some of them are really small. I did hold on to them just because I'm going to use them as bait. But the uh, good sized ones are great eaters. I'm going to take those home and fillet them up. And um, it was really cool. I caught that flounder and that uh, mullet. They both weren't, neither of them were snagged. They both were literally caught. They hit on the bait, which was really neat. You don't see that with mullet very often. So uh, yeah, you guys, I hope you all had a good weekend of fishing. And again, if you all ever have any questions, you know, about setups or how to target, you know, when you're out here in the surf, you know, feel free to shoot me a private message. Y'all have a good weekend. See ya.